Women of CTV with Adam Hinchwood following a 7 0 win over the Concord Rangers. Adam, how do you feel after that one? Oh, yeah, obviously, you know, delighted. Uh, we said we wanted to get a bit of momentum after having, um, and yeah, I thought actually the first, you know, five, ten minutes we was a little bit off it, and we wanted to start bright because we know that they played on Tuesday night. Um, but yeah, after, after that, we got into our rhythm and, and moved the ball really well. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 it's a pleasing performance and like I said, we wanted to, to build on it and get some confidence from the lads because they've been a bit low on confidence and you know, hopefully a result like, and a performance like that can, can really help with that. Like you said, it was the first 10 minutes it felt like a little bit under the, under the cosh, but it really turned around and it was, it was all Worthing's game for the rest of the match. What, what do you think changed in the players? Do you think it was like a bit of momentum after coming under the pressure? Yeah, they put us on a good bit of pressure. Harrison made two good saves, I thought, early on. Um, didn't have much to do after that, but the two saves he made in the first five, ten minutes were, were crucial. And Yeah, th they started probably <coughs> how we wanted to start. Um, and then it was just a case of us finding our rhythm in the game. And as soon as we got a couple of passes together and then you know, the confidence just, just grew from then and we created a lot of chances. Um, I think it would be disappointed he's not come away with at least five today. Um, but the goal we did score uh, is probably the toughest chance um, of them all. We had one where he hit the post and it come back to David. And you know when that happens early on, you're always a bit. And they started well, had a couple of chances. Um, you know a little bit anxious, but you know full credit to the players. Like I say, they said to you on, on Thursday what a good group they are. Um, and you know, when when they get confident, that's that's what they can do to a team. And they showcased it today. I mean, two goals for all that forward line: Radari, Pierce, it can be. I mean, I think David might claim three, although it was clearly an own goal. Yeah. <laughs> but it was right. two for the, the the three forwards there. I mean, what a performance from that forward line and a lot of chances. Very clinical. Got to be really happy with that kind of. No, yeah. Hopefully right. that will give them you know a load of confidence. Um, obviously, you know, we was able to to bring Kane off. He had a slight problem with his calf in the warm-up so we wanted to just bring him off uh, if we could and obviously Oli with his toes and stuff um, you know he'd, he'll still be going mad at me I brought him off when he scored two goals but um, no yeah do do their confidence a uh, whole world of good I think David showed at times today just what a big threat he can be for us um, you know he's got a, maybe Calm down the celebrations, you won't cramp up in his calves so early on in the game. But, um, you know, we can have a word with him about that. But it's, uh, no, yeah, um, hopefully, he, he needs to he needs to realise that he can be a big player for us. Five games to go now, um, and he, he needs to step up to the plate. And, you know, when he does, you know, he's, he's a real, real handful. He can be, and there's so many players in there as well who, who can be, and a few of the lone boys as well, like people like Mo Dabra and Josh Chambers and David, they're all people that are in temporary, but they could absolutely take a place here in the long term. Who do you thought stood out to? Who were a few players that have been particularly impressed you? Um, obviously, the obvious one, I think, is, is Jack Paxman. Um, you know what a difference he, he's made to, to our team. Um, just wants the ball all the time, and, you know... <laughs> I think he had about three players around him one time in the first half there and he just turned away and, and got out of it and that's the, just a little bit of extra quality that I think we needed, especially in that central area. Um, but I thought there was some really good performances, I thought Liam, you know, he's back to back now, he's put a couple of good performances together, um, he's a real threat, I think the amount of crosses he got in the box today, for his, his standard, a couple of them were a bit too deep, so... You know, there's plenty of work for him, but I thought he, he was good. Um, I thought Joe, Joe Ryan Liam actually first five, ten minutes, a lot was coming in from down their side and Aaron sort of was quick to tell him, and rightly so. Uh, and after that, you know, they was, they was really good. Um, yeah, we tried to try to work the ball out wide a little bit more today. Um, uh, so some of the work that we tried to work on last night in training, um, it was nice to see some of that coming off with the wide player rolling in and the fullback going on, um, similar to what we've done second half against Hammond. Um, so it was good and then we managed to change shape and bring on the likes of, of Barker and, and Suk Jay and um, you know, Mickey to get a start. So I think the whole squad is, is really important now. Um, Dan Bowery and Dan Thompson out the side. Um, they're big players, they might be needed on Monday. 
to come and step in and, and, and step up to the plate because you know now now our focus goes on to that and we have to go and, and get something from Chesson who you know I know Craig really well it's a real tough place to go um, so we need players that are going to be up for it it's going to be a different test altogether um, but it'd be nice to back up this performance today. We spoke about the running that's coming up and the toughness of these games and how much squad is going to be needed. And that's got to be really reassuring as well, that just to know that there's all these players coming up up to this level at this time. No, yeah, I thought we had an uh, unbelievable bench. We, like Mo Dabra and James Rashford, unfortunately didn't get on today. Um, but, you know, we had Barker to come on, um, Josh Chambers and, and, and Sook Jay, so, you know, real. And, and then you got Ruben, you got Chopper, uh, Finley Chadwick, you got um, Dan Thompson, you got Carla Bryan, you've got um, Dan Bowery, not even involved. Um, so, you know, I want to keep pushing them boys because there's no doubt that they're going to be needed. Um, like I say, Kane got a slight tweak to his calf. Oli Pierce is playing with broken toes today um, and he got a whack on it, like hurt about 40 minutes in. So, uh, Mickey got a dead leg on his quad. Is that going to recover in time? So, you know, the, the whole squad is going to be needed. We're going to have to stick together and, and pull together. And um, it's important we manage those players that are not involved as well. And just a quick word we mentioned obviously on Thursday, but today was a minute of silence and it was a tribute to Morty today. How would you feel about how this game going? Um, and, and today is a, as a tribute to Morty. No, yeah, I'm sure he's, he's looking down on us today, um, you know, with a lot of pride and. Um, yeah, it was obviously it gives you a chance to reflect on on not just Morty but you know a lot of um, good people um, at the club that we've, we've lost in recent years as well. So um, you know, delighted that we got a good result and a good send off for Morty. And um, like I say, he's a, he's a real big big character at, at this football club. Um, so it's going to be a real loss, and you know myself and the whole squad just send our deepest uh, condolences to the family um, you know I know Debbie and Alistair really well um, and you know obviously he's got other family members that come as well to the game so we've got to know them really well in recent years so um, you know when we do get to see them it'd be, it'd be nice to see them back here at Woodside but yeah I'm glad um, we got a good, good win for them today. Nice one. And agreed, Adam. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks.